What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here, and we are back playing some Escape from Tarkov, and like the title says, Tarkov is dead. No, I'm kidding. Look, every wipe we go through the same thing. We're getting a lot of streamers and, you know, content creators that are like, the game's dead, man, it has no future, yada yada. And dude, this is the same cycle that happens every single wipe since the beginning. I've been playing this game since day one, when it was a closed alpha. It was one of the first people to get the NDA removed to show footage. I know what everyone's going through, and I have solutions, and, I, and I'll tell you exactly what's happening, why people think this game's dead, and uh, solutions to the problem. First of all, the game's not dead. Are there less people playing it? Absolutely. It's been, what, a, a while since our last update? People get bored. And that's the main reason why people keep saying, oh, the game's dead. They're fucking bored. They dump 2,000, 3,000 hours into the game in a span of three, four months, and that's all they play. And of course you're gonna get fucking bored. <laughs> like, of course you're gonna think the game's dead and it's the biggest piece of shit ever and yada yada when you've dumped so many damn hours into one fucking game. There's not a lot of content when it comes to Tarkov. If you look at other games like Call of Duty and all this other shit, there's always something to unlock. There's always a camo to go for. It's always some progression you can find yourself in. Once you're done with all the tasks, or you get your kappa, you got hundreds of millions of rubles. All that's left is going to the same maps you've been going to for months on end, and killing people. And that's it. So of course, people get fucking bored with it. Um, I did kind of a little look around at majority of the pet players um, that were, I'm not gonna name names, calling the game dead, and then most of them are streamers. And guess what the only game they've ever streamed was? Tarkov. Tarkov. So, when you're only streaming one game, and you've dumped tons and tons of hours into it, and there's no more content left for you to enjoy, what do you think's gonna happen? You're gonna say the game sucks, and it's getting boring, and everything like that. But, guess what? The second we get a new update, and there's tons of new content in it, everyone's gonna go ham, and guess what? Six, five, six months after that, once all the, everybody's used up all the content, and they're all bored as fuck. Oh, the game sucks. It's so dead. Never-ending cycle, dude. And you know what? I, I'll admit, I've been guilty of this before. I've burned myself out on Tarkov and said the exact same fucking things. I recently just took a week off and played other games and had, had a blast playing other games. Everybody loved all the different stuff I was playing. Came back to Tarkov, absolutely dominated squads left and right, had an awesome time, had a lot of fun, no complaints whatsoever, just had a blast, man. Was just running around, enjoying the game. That's what people need to do. People need to stop pretending that on there's only one game that exists, and its name is Escape from Tarkov, and it's the greatest game in the entire world. Because I'm telling you what, it's not. And Tarkov will never be the entire game, the, the best game in the entire world. It's just not going to be. Is it going to be one of the cooler shooter, looter shooter games? Absolutely. Does it have one of the best gun modifications? Absolutely. But it's not the best game in the world. And people get way too fucking worked up over this game. I'm telling you that right now. Because if this game didn't have the gunplay and the gun modification, it would be garbage. 100% garbage. This is why I play it. I play it for the gunplay and the gun modification. Everything else in it, I could give two fucks about. But that's the problem, man. People put this game on such a fucking pedestal, and they just expect it to be the most amazing thing constantly, when it's not. And it has never had a history of being, like, a perfect game. Nor will it, because there is no such thing as a perfect game. There are great games out there, but there's not a perfect game. Um, you know, even Fallout, for as amazing as the story is and the gameplay, is just littered with bugs and game-breaking crap. But that's the problem, man. You get these people that like, they start getting a following on Twitch, and they all they play is Tarkov. And, and guess what, man? They just dumped like 4,000 hours into this wipe, and they are fucking bored, and they are getting mad. <laughs> and that's what happens, man. The Tarkov burnout is a real fucking thing. This game is super unforgiving, not nice, rage-inducing, and the longer you delve into it, especially when you're not having fun with it, the more it'll just fuck you up. And just be, and then the only thing you have left is to blame is the damn game. And you can blame the game on a lot of stuff, especially like the desync, a lot of the issues that still haven't been fixed. Maybe some of the changes here and there that are kind of dumb. Um, sure, blame them. But the game's not dead. It's not going anywhere. At least not for another three, four years, I would say, is 
Um, probably when the game will kind of die, I'm thinking. Because, well, once they stop, you see what happens, okay? This is the big cycle of Tarkov. They, they throw out content, everybody plays the fuck out of it, content dries up, they stop playing it. Well, when they're finally done with content, and they release the game, and no DLCs or anything, well, I guess what, everyone's gonna fucking leave. Maybe arena mode might change that, but who fucking knows, man? But the game in itself isn't dead. And I think a lot of people just kind of need to learn how to take a break, take a breather, and play some other stuff. Um, this isn't for normal players. This is a lot for streamers. Streamers feel like if you don't play one game, you're not going to have an audience, and you're not going to fucking make any money, yada yada, I'm never going to grow. Bro, I've changed games so many fucking times, and I've been doing this for over ten years now. <laughs> Trust me, it don't fucking matter what you do. You can play Hello Kitty Island Adventure, your boys will be there watching you. Always how it is. But... I think people just need to take a break, man. This is a very toxic community. Very toxic community. And people get very worked up very quickly over Tarkov. And I can see how you dump 3,000 hours into it. Your ass is going to be fucking tired of it. And you're just going to be a salty balty. But overall, you know, I'm really looking forward to a lot of the changes of the Tarkov. I, I really enjoy it. I love the PvP. Not a fan of the quests, but I'm looking forward to daily quests. I'm just looking forward to more guns, you know, more firefights, more things like that. I play for the PvP, man. I don't play for the loot. I don't play for the, the money. I just play to PvP. That I just love the gun play. I love the gun customization. That's my thing. Once inertia gets added, boy, oh boy, I'm going to be a happy, happy camper. Whenever they sort of fix the desync, which I don't think will ever happen, the game will just be amazing and I'll be having a blast with it. But I think people just need to learn to take a break, man. Like, there's more to life than Tarkov, and there's definitely more to gaming than Tarkov. I don't see... I never... And I tell people this all the time. I don't see why you would spend thousands of dollars on a gaming PC to play one fucking game. The world is your oyster with, with PC gaming because you can mod everything. You can play anything. It's just so much stuff that you can do. But to sit there and just kill yourself day in and day out on Tarkov and then bitch that it's a dead game... The only person you have to blame is your damn self on that one, to be honest. But I enjoy Tarkov. It's nice to take breaks here for you know a while. I once took probably a six-month break from Tarkov, and I came back and loved it more than I did when I was playing it. Um, breaks are healthy. Breaks are good. The game's not dead. Some of the choices they make are changing up the gameplay and things like that. Like M80 is better to run than M61, which is cool, and I definitely am enjoying. You know, and... The game's always going to change. They're going to make it harder, and that's just kind of how it is. And, you know, I, I kind of disagree and agree with certain things of the game. It shouldn't be hard. I mean, it should be hard, but more approachable. Um, if you get what I'm saying, not making it difficult for casuals to even compete and things like that. But the game in itself is very unforgiving, and it's the way it's centered and the way, you know, your deaths work and losing your loot, and especially now with there being less loot around, it seems like. People get really salty, and the game just really brings out the worst in people, to be honest. Um, and I think that's part of the issue. It's just such a rage-inducing game that people get worked up over it, man. And, you know, and just that's how it is. Like, everybody does. Everybody's got those moments. I think, pers personally, um, when it comes to, you know, getting mad at a game is, is perfectly human. Everybody gets mad. Everybody gets the... You know, gets themselves uh, worked up over it and upset. It's just a human thing. Um, so, you know, I don't really blame people for it. But overall, I think people just need to take a break from Tarkov. Just take a chill pill. Look, there hasn't been any drops this wipe, uh, which bring a lot of people back into it and did a lot of fun. There haven't been really much going on. They're testing these events. So there's a lot of people were liking, and now some of them have gotten kind of stale. They're trying new things. And I feel like maybe next update, when we get Lighthouse and we get some new stuff, might be a better overall experience than what we're having right now. But I think people, instead of just getting mad at the game, um, just need to take a break, man. Enjoy themselves. Find something else to play. Just have a lot of fun. It seems to, you know, that seems to be what people are missing. Gaming is about fun, man. Not, it's not about money. It's not about fucking um, viewers. It's not about fucking, you know, how big you are. Just have fun fun man if you're not having fun what's the, what's the fucking point of it all jesus go work out a, a better paying job and fucking be miserable if you're gonna be miserable playing games um but yeah man tarkov's not going anywhere dude it's not 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 for a while at least a few more years we have going for it but i think definitely once we get streets to tarkov the game is gonna be popping like crazy 
And I'm um, really looking forward to the future of the game and some of the changes. Right now, I'm just kind of, you know, I'll play it here and there. You know, there's other games to play like New World. We got Battlefield coming out. Um, you know, just a ton of really cool shit coming out at the end of this year. But I'll still be playing Tarkov. Just not every day. Because why kill myself? <laughs> But anyways, boys, tell me what you think. You think the game's dying? Or you think people are just getting bored and need to play something else and unbunch their panties a little bit? Let me know in the comments below. Talk to you guys later. Peace.